Hello there, my name is Anthony Varokas with StreamTech. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about getting your ZTE modem USB stick up and running. I've been using these ZTE sticks for several years now and I find them very liable and very easy to use. But some people may have trouble because they stick their SIM card in, they stick it into the device that they're trying to use and it doesn't work. That's because you need to configure it first. Let's see how we do that. We're going to do this live here because that's what the Stream Tech Show is all about. So I am going to stick this in a computer. I've got a little computer here and that's my streaming company, Stream For Us. So I stick that in. And then uh, when I come down here on the bottom and I go to my folders, you will see that I go to PC. There it goes. There's a CD drive now. And there is the ZTE modem. That is the software you need to run to get your modem configured. It's included on the USB stick part of the modem. This ZTE stick also has a slot for memory, so you can stick in a micro SD card for additional storage, which is handy since you're already using that one USB. It's now data and storage at the same time. So let's open this up. Yes. And what it's going to do is it's going to install the software you need to configure your modem. Here it comes. Now, I apologize, this is taking a little bit longer. It's not a super speedy laptop, but I use it for like basic tasks. So here you are. This is the URL of the modem in the USB stick. I have already configured my end, so you can see that the LTE is set to on. It's using EOT, EIOT Club is the provider, which is roaming on T-Mobile. It says I have a strong signal. It tells me my connection status is green. It tells me there's no SIM, uh, there's a, it's a valid SIM card, but there's no uh, separate micro SD card there. And it says I'm roaming, which is key because sometimes if you use a third party carrier that is not T-Mobile, AT&T or Verizon in the US, then you'll have to select roaming in order for it to get data. It tells me right here what my data rate is. And this right here is what you're going to be looking to do. You go, go into your settings, your connection mode, automatic. You're going to check here so that you can connect in roaming, which is what I needed to do. Come back out. Your network selection. This is going to happen automatically. So right now it's telling me I only want it to go to 4G. I don't want it to look at a 3G network because that's not going to del deliver the speeds I need. But if you wanted to, you could try and manually set something. I've tried that. And sometimes when I manually pick something, then that tower doesn't agree to give me service. So I just let it do it automatically. And then lastly, down the bottom, if you need to, if your provider specifically says you need to type in this particular network, the APN is where you do it. So that is one thing I needed to do here. I needed to type in this. And what that ends up being is that ends up being like a password so that T-Mobile has an agreement with this EITO club. And when this modem presents that name, it's sort of like a pass card. It says here, I'm with EI, EITO Club. Let me have some data. And it says, oh yeah, you're on the list. Okay, here, here's some data. So there you go. And then once you set those three connections, you then make sure that your LTE is on and then the USB stick is set to work. Until you do these things and you just stick in a SIM card, it doesn't know what to do. It doesn't know what network. It's just confused. It's like you've given me a, uh, you've given me something. What do I do? You know, so you have to go in, you have to configure it, and then once you set these settings, you can come down here, you can see that it's green. It's got my IMEI down there and we're ready to go. I don't have a LAN cable plugged into here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up. I'm going to turn off Wi-Fi. 
on my laptop. So the only stat, the only connection it's going to have is via that hardwired connection from the USB stick. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to go to the speed test, and I'm curious too because this is roaming. So in my home office, using this USB stick, I'm curious what kind of speed I'm going to get. So this is going to be a real world test live. I haven't done this before. I'm going to say go, and here we go finding the optimal server. So it's doing a bunch of handshaking, loading a bunch of ads. And then eventually it should make a connection and allow speed test to access your location. Yes, you're gonna to need to access my location to find the nearest server. All right, here we go. Again, this is solely through the cellular. You can't see it, but the um, USB stick is blinking and I am getting this is download speed first. Not great, 12 megabits down. Now we're gonna go with upload speed. Thinking about it. I hope this is not representative of my actual upload speeds. Yes, it was. <laughs> So this did not work out very well for this USB stick, but that is basically why you do testing. And it's good to do the test on your laptop because that way, close, that way you have an independent way of testing your um, cellular service with that particular SIM. If I took out my T-Mobile SIM and put it in there, it may be quite different. I'm going to take out this stick. I'm going to go back into my network settings. I'm going to turn Wi-Fi back on. Show available networks. There it is my Galaxy S10e. I'm going to enter the network security key. I'm waiting for it to work with my S10e. There it goes. Now I'm on my T-Mobile plan. Let us go again. If it finds a new server, This is via T-Mobile here in Texas. There it goes. Seventeen, eighteen, still going up. Nineteen, twenty. This is this is pretty good for a cell phone. All right. And let's see what my upload speed is. You can see it doing a little bit right here. I don't know what it's, oh, there it goes. Apparently it has to do some handshaking first and then it can start trying to upload a file. 22. 22 up is pretty impressive for a cell phone. All right. This is probably not the server that I'm really using, but that is pretty good speeds with T-Mobile. Now, the SIM that's in here is a third-party SIM that's in roaming, clearly not getting the best speeds available. This is how you go through the process of setting up your ZTE so that you can use it with any SIM on any carrier. You have to go through and configure it first using a computer. And then I recommend doing a test to make sure that it is actually delivering what you need it to deliver. In this case, this carrier is not providing me enough upload speed to make it worth my while. Make sure that you have that available before you put it into your streaming device and find out that it's not working. My name is Anthony Barocas for Stream Tech. Thanks for watching.